Hey, Rich, just how is your, your hand? How is your knee? How is your body feeling after uh, a, a long season? Uh, you no, know, it's a little sore. You know, definitely gonna take some time to recover. You know, uh, but you know, I feel good. You know, uh, nothing too bad, nothing too serious. But you know, definitely gonna take some time to recover. And um, you've got a, a crazy summer ahead. Just uh, how big is your decision on where you're gonna go? And um, and you know how how uh, where do the Kings land on your list of potential spots that you'll play next season? I mean, we're going we gonna to see what happens. You know, um, definitely have a love for Sacramento. You know, uh, where we're trying to build here, what we built this season. And, uh, you know, definitely have an interest in trying to go beyond that. You know, um, just got to wait and see what happens. You know, I'm looking forward to the summer, looking forward to the, the opportunity. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a blessing. Marshall Harris. Hey, Rashawn, uh, good to see you. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just curious. I mean, it's, it seems like you, you know, you've worked so hard from like your time, even when I remember covering you in Philadelphia um, to get to this point where it's literally going to pay off. Uh, how, how do you, how do you approach it mentally? And then um, how excited are you for a chance to, you know, hear what teams are talking about? I mean, yeah, I honestly, I, I really don't know how to approach it, you know, um, never really been in a situation like this before. And, um, you know, I'm just going to enjoy the summer. I'm going to enjoy it, going to train like I normally do, getting ready for next season. And, uh, you know, just try to keep everything in like a normal routine that I do in my off season, kind of, and uh, just go from there. But, you know, it's definitely an exciting time for me, for my family. And, uh, you know, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't looking forward to it. Even from last season to this season, what would you say about your game has uh, developed uh, to make you the player that you are now compared to maybe at the end of last season. And what, what is it that you're, you're going to focus on working on? Um, what is it that you want to even improve more uh, this off season? I think for me, just, just consistency, you know, um, just being able over, especially over the last two years to just consistently contribute and show what I can do. You know, um, the years before I feel like I had a lot of flashes and things of that sort and then have slumps where I just, be unnoticed on the court. And I think just being a consistent option, you know, um, being there night in and night out, doing the same things, you know, uh, knocking down my floater. My floater was a big thing I worked on in the summer. I wanted to be very, very efficient at that because I feel like that's something that could help our offense. And so I think just the consistency of it all and uh, understanding what I bring to this team and bringing it every night and uh, just working on, I just want to continue to, you know, improve as a player, you know, want to continue to improve as a passer, you know, continue to stretch out to the three-point line, continue working on that, kind of want to retool my shot a little bit to get more efficient this uh, this summer. And uh, so definitely going to be in the gym working on that. And uh, just coming back a better player, more solid player, more well, well-rounded, and um, looking forward to the next challenges. Sean Cunningham. Hey, Rashawn. Um, kind of following up a little bit about that offseason. I mean, do you go into it with any sort of peace or is it kind of a nerve wracking anxiety that you'll experience? Uh, it's, uh, you know, with me, it's always peaceful. You know, everything is in God's hands for me. So it, it, it's nothing that you know I'm nervous. I can say I'm really nervous about. It's just, uh, you know, just the expectation, you know, getting to the, the process, you know, a process I've heard. You know, so many of my my former teammates, teammates today, you know, go through and something I've never really experienced for myself. So just getting a chance to get this new experience uh, is going to be a blessing for me and my family. And like I said, I'm looking forward to it, but definitely at peace about it and uh, just 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 ready for what comes. And you've had so many people refer to you as even teammates and coaches as like the heart and soul of this team, uh, you know, because of what you bring to this team and, and kind of the way people respect uh, the way you play for this, for this franchise, what do you recognize as, is there, what are the concerns about Sacramento um, in, in just for the future? Is there one big concern that you have in terms of just what has to be here in order to make it work for you? Man, me, me personally, like I said before, I, I love playing here in Sacramento you know, the things that we've been built, we've been building here these last two years. And, 
where I can see the potential of this team going is great. And so for me, I, I love Sacramento, love, have loved playing here, you know, every second and definitely want to look to continue that, you know what I'm saying? So that, that's something that that never, never goes unnoticed for me, you know, just the love that Sacramento has for me and things of that sort and the, the attention and love and everything I received from the fans since I've been here, you know, and so none of that goes unnoticed and, you know, as we go into the summer, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. Jason Joe. Hey, what's going on, man? How you feeling? Feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah. yeah just looking back when you signed with the Kings, it was, uh, you know, I think we were in Vegas and they had the other three guys who were signed and you just hadn't got signed yet. Then even going into the season, a lot of people weren't talking about you because they had signed Dwayne and there's just a whole lot of other things going on just, is it still kind of surreal that just that quick by, by the fifth game, you were the starter and how this thing took off for you in Sacramento? Oh man, it was amazing. You know, uh, you know, really couldn't, couldn't believe how it happened, you know, just getting the opportunity to play and, you know, prove what I can do. And like you said, by the fifth game, you know, that, that was, that was definitely unexpected. So, you know, just got to thank coach, coach Luke for having, you know, having to trust in me, you know, and trusting and going to me, looking at me as an option and seeing what I could do and put me on the floor. You know, he definitely gave me a big time opportunity and I, I appreciate that. And just what's it been the relationship between you and all the guys really in the coaching staff? It seems like over the last couple of years, there's always been a lot of good things said about the staff and the opportunities that some of you have gotten under the staff. Oh, most definitely. The, this staff, man, it, it has been great working with this staff. I mean, they, have a lot of love for the game and have a lot of love for us. You can tell they they pour in a lot, you know, when we need to get shots up late, they're ready. You know, they always are ready to do whatever we need. And they've done a great job at developing us and, you know, just putting in the time with us. And they, you can definitely tell they want to see us be great. And, you know, it shows in the action. So have a lot of love and appreciation for this coaching staff. Jason Anderson. Hey, Rashawn, how you doing, man? Doing well, doing well. Good, good, good. Um, you know, obviously, you know, you've talked a little bit about this through your summer and, and the uncertainty. Um, you know, uh, you never know what's going to happen, but, but you know, given the relationships you formed here and, and uh, the way the fans have embraced you, would it be, would it be difficult? Would it hurt a little bit to, to move on and, and end up playing somewhere else? I mean, like I said, all of the love and appreciation definitely doesn't go unnoticed, and you know, definitely have emotional ties here, you know, so, you know, it's always, always tough to move on and things of that sort, like I said, so it's always in my mind, you know, the love and appreciation that's been shown here, and um, I'm just looking forward to the summer to see what happens, you know, uh, but I can't say enough how much I love playing here, how much I love being in Sacramento, you know, it, it's been so much fun, and, you know, we'll see what happens in the summer and see if that can continue. Um, the relationship is a word that, that's come up a lot. Um, <clears throat> you just talked about it. What, when in those walls, what does that look like? Like specifically, you know, when Luke talks about wanting to have uh, strong relationships with all of you guys, uh, what does that look like for from your perspective? I mean, just for me, is is reaching out to things beyond basketball. You know, checking on you to see what's going on, how your kids doing, things of that sort you know, just forging relationships off the court. You know, we know we all have a job to do and have to perform on the basketball court and there's things that come with that. But, you know, just taking the extra step to, you know, reach out, you know, make sure everything's going good, you know, just off the court, things of that sort, you know, things like that mean a lot, uh, especially to a guy like me.